Thresa dryer you usually use in the nail parlor to dry the, the gel on your nails. I think it's high time I marry so that it stop confusing these things, yeah. Now, there is a thread I left here a while back, yeah. But I'm not here to take it back, but to give it more context and give you several things that you can do. So that when you're going there, you go like someone who usually watch my videos now. First thing, context. I'm sure at home you have an album, a photo album. Uh, you have your grandmother when she was young and uh, you have her now. If she's not, maybe rest in peace. But you also have your mother just look at the photos when they were young they had silky skin very smooth and so nice to look at and even touch but look at her now i'm not saying that it's bad that you cannot touch right now but it's different yeah there is something we call aging one of the things that usually contribute to that aging is uva we have uva for aging and uvb for burning that one for burning is when you go to the beach or you expose yourself to the sun, you get sunburns, that's what usually give you that. But for aging, over time you find that your skin is aging, you get that from UVA. Even men, just look at how I used to look when I was young, vibrant, silky, smooth, handsome, and uh, look at me now. Now, let's just go back to our nail parlor. Now that machine usually emit that UVA, which will lead to aging. Now, continuous cooking of your fingers every now and then will lead to over time. You're not going to notice this overnight. Over time, you're going to notice that the skin here looks different eh, over time. Several exposures, yeah? Over time, it's going to look a little bit different from what you have. It's going to look more aged compared to the rest of your body. This is because you have UV being emitted by that machine to cure the, that's a glue, the gel, it's a type of a glue, which we have several other types of glues that you'll have to use UV for curing. Now you're going to take me back to, hey, even the sun contains UVA, so it doesn't matter as much. So what I can tell you here is, it's very rare to see nail parlors at rooftops where they just use UV from the sun to dry that because it, it, it requires a little bit higher overdose, for lack of a better word. But uh, now, even the machine is a little bit closer to your nails and even your skin here, so you're getting a little bit higher overdose. Now, we have conversation around uh, skin cancers that usually come as a result of UV. Now, if you're not saying that you're going to get that overnight, kind of the same thing that usually happen when you go to or you change Bezia Koya Mutura. And then you go to another new guy and kumbi yosiko meamua kwe kapunda ama paka ama food poisoning decided to do something on you. So the whole night, you're going to... Now, that's not the case here. It's not that when you expose yourself to UV, it's going to show overnight, yeah? By tomorrow, you have cancer. No, it can take even 10 years before you discover that you have that. And also, you can even not even remember what actually happened for you to even get that in the first place. So that's why we have studies, some of which suggest that the dose is so low, the risk is low. We have others that have shown changes in the DNA inside the cells. Yeah, we know the skin will shed over time, but when you get old, the turnover for the cells goes a little bit lower. So, yeah, that's that. Now, we can talk about this the whole day. I have so much information about this. So, um, let me save you the whole thing because I don't want you to stop going to the parlor. I want you to look cute. Yeah, still continue making your nails. Yeah, but you can carry two things because you are watching my videos. Yeah, you know. Now, one thing you can have is a sunscreen. You apply that on your skin because the focus will be on the nails, yeah? So we are trying to reduce the exposure of the skin to the UV, thereby just being safer. Kind of the same thing that you usually do when you go to the beach. Just do that to your nails also every time you go to the nail parlor. And if you own a nail parlor, I'm not saying that you increase your price, but just include sunscreen as part of what you usually do to your clients. The second thing that you can do is uh, just buy gloves medical gloves so they're usually used in the hospital yeah i know they're going to block some of that so the dose is not as high as when you could have put that just room a box usually costs around i think 400 300 shillings and what you do you just nip off the ends where you're going to expose only the ends that are necessary one box usually contain 100 pieces divide that by two you get 50 visits to your local nail parlor looking cute of course, because you watch my videos, yeah, you are so educated. But I'm about to spoil it. How do you keep the hygiene? I'm sure your inner ears are not washed by your bunch. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not done. I'm not. And also, when you go to the washroom, how do you wipe 
Yeah, can I owe you sort of? Of course, I don't. I know, but mm, how do you? Anyway, next time you see me making a video about the nails, just know I'm about to spoil your day, so let's keep it. But this one, let's just keep it nice and classy and good. See you in the next video where I'll be spoiling your everything.